Welcome everyone, I'm Tim and this is the controller. Thanks for clicking on Fallout 4, no armor. Where last time we were able to storm Trinity Tower and free strong. We also ran into a bunch of random enemies and random spawn points, which was a whole lot of fun. So if you haven't seen last episode, I highly recommend going back and taking a little look-see at that. And today we are going to be helping out the Brotherhood just a little bit more and clearing Wilson automatoys for them. Just keep leveling up just a little bit. We are super close to leveling up to level 38, which I am excited about that. But with that, let's jump on into things and start trying to get into some more mayhem. First things first, I'm going to need to be able to find my way out of this roof system here. And just plain drop down. That is too far to drop. Oh, we have a convenient bed here as well, which actually could come in handy. Go till morning, so I have a little bit more endurance. There, I feel a little bit better about that. Proper bed and a sleeping bag on top of a mattress. That actually probably would be quite comfortable to sleep on. I have to do that while... Oh, oh hello! How about we just miss every time? And just stand in the way. Headshot, maybe. Okay. Sleeping, bad. Sleeping, bad. Do not sleep. That spawns in the raiders. So first things first, we are a little hungry and thirsty. But we do have to increase our endurance a bit and our killing output. So medex, buff tats, and let's just go flat out psycho to kick things off. And at this point, we can eat some noodle cups, get our hydration back, get a little healing going on as well properly fed still thirsty no big deal we'll hammer in a quantum as well as a purified water properly hydrated we are good to rock and roll Ooh, dog meat good work they can tank quite a bit yeah, dog meat. Do them up, dog meat. Just miss. Just keep missing, because why not? Just need to pop him in his head. There we go. And that is a level up. Oh no, dog meat, did you just fall again? Did you just fall down there? Oh, and there was a guard dog here too. Oh, hey, look, the boss room. Maybe he was just chilling in here the whole time. Vodka, wine, don't need to take that. I do need to heal dog meat. So down we go and hope that we can find him. And up we go in search of the dog meat. Is this just where we came from? I don't actually remember where I went up to begin with. This looks good. And it will come out close to dog meat as it is. Probably could jump that, but I don't want to chance it. Yeah, that was the legendary raider. Dog meat all healed up. Oh, you gotta watch your footing there, pup. That is not very good for you. You fell, I believe it was last episode, too, which would have killed a lesser companion. Looks like we have some super mutants coming up. 
Got a little splash damage on him. Ah, a few. Ah, skirmisher from a distance. There, that one is dead. Excellent. Now, we did actually level up by killing that survivalist. So we are going to pump that right into Mysterious Stranger. I have enjoyed when he's popped up, which hasn't been all that often, but it sure is nice. If we can get it slightly more often, why not? There's nothing else pressing that I am aware of right now at level 38. So that should be pretty good. And if the super mutants on the roof wasn't a sign already, we are in fact clearing out even more super mutants. So this is actually going to be a little bit of an issue now that I did sleep. I do not have my 50% adrenaline that I had going on before. That was very beneficial when I was dealing with Trinity Tower, and I'm not going to be having that. So hopefully Dogme can stay alive and just keep helping me out a little bit. I do have a frag mine coming up. Another skirmisher. Ha! I should probably hold my breath when I shoot. And I really need to build up my critical too. Maybe that's what I need to be focused on at this, at the moment. Just had the two guards outside. I guess let's hope for the best and clear out these abominations. And even though I want to increase my oh, do I dare keep running with righteous authority which is going to be behind okay, I need an ID need card reader card. which I'll have to go further go in to there. get that Ooh, and we have a legendary enforcer starting off what is it? Just back off for the moment. They come around the corner and pop them, but having a legendary enforcer now would have been a prime time to have. Ooh. Would have been a prime time to have a critical. And be able to utilize that. Sneak attack. All right. We got some explosives in here that set off. And there is a super mutant overlord. So these are getting to be some high level super mutants. They see dog meat. Okay, he runs in. He's going to draw the fire. We'll just keep popping him in the chest. Yeah, just stand there, please. All right, so we have the critical. I think it's time to go back to the combat rifle. Hit a little bit harder than Righteous Authority. A few more shots and vats. Ooh, Steadfast 44 pistol. 50% damage resistance while aiming. That would be handy if that was a scoped weapon. Dog. Spineless human. Yes, I am spineless. Hello. Anybody home? A couple shots, no big deal. I might be wandering in. Oh, 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 there they are. Right arm. Take that shot 
gonna say, might be wandering in a little too close for comfort with just wandering around aimlessly with no armor. So that is a ramp that goes up the stairs. What is this fun little area? Step stash. We will take that and we will take your medics and stim packs. <laughs> Tell you what, I actually really enjoy facing super mutants. They're strong. They don't hit particularly hard if they don't throw like grenades at you. At least that is what it that seems to be. Do I have any shots at anybody up above? Yeah, human, human, human. No. Got a treat for you. That's okay. We can go up where the ramp is. And look at all these wonderful giddy up buttercups. We'll take one home. We can Gonna decorate. Soon, oh, yeah, frag, frag grenade. We can decorate Hangman's Alley with that. Superhuman. They sound really close because they are. <laughs> Oh, hello. Vats, save me now. Oh, boy. Must have been nothing. Must have been nothing. You got that right. They're just having a little powwow here. A skull eye socket. They aren't messing around. They aren't messing around. Go through to this bathroom. Oh, come out, come out, wherever you are. Yeah, I think this is the route I need to take. A lot more to explore back yonder. Definitely when I see the overlord, I'm gonna wanna pop him in the head with my critical. For me, we are super mutants all, but I am. Good, good. We hit the skirmisher first, and then the regular super mutant. Down they go. Get a little bit of 308 back. Well, another thing about super mutants, there are oh, radiation barrels. There are always so many more in a building than you would naturally expect. A nice little dungeon they got here. Just keep shooting them in the back. Not sure if I'm actually getting the sneak attack right now. It does not appear so. No big deal. I am fine with that. Look at all these different routes. To go. Need another ID reader. Find the card. I'm assuming. Oh, come on, Psycho and Medics wore off. I'm assuming that it's just uh, going to be on the Overlord to get that key card. Unless it's like in the very first room that, since I'm not really looting all that much, as I'm actively looting right now, that probably end up being all right. And this was the, okay, that was the other little loop around. Might be able to sneak past those. I don't think I can pick this. And ah, I bet this looped around from the first master locked door that I had seen. Could have bypassed all of that. An area where lock picking actually might have been beneficial. Skip ahead a little bit on level and now we are going up the stairs proper. 
The toughest guys always live on the top floor. 17 meters ahead and up yet. But I do think it is time. That's going right there. I think it is time. Machine gun turret? No, just hit the super mutant. They are not activated right now. Can I activate the turrets? Not by that one, at least. No fight today. But that one might be hooked up. You're here. You're here. Stop hiding. Oh. Oh. Don't you be attacking my dog. Enforcer's dead, but that's right. I didn't have to worry about the Enforcer. I needed to worry about the Overlord, which is a higher level. Better and better. I wish I could turn that on to give me a little added firepower. Maybe. <laughs> Go ahead and hide, little bleeder. Didn't do anything. Too many walls. Okay. Fair enough. That giddy up butter cup looks extra special. Smell you out there, Better take that one. Snake. We can climb up these. This I ramp here. A fight. Now we are on the proper level. And oh yeah, as that popped up with being parched for water. Annoyed. Oh, hello. There's the sneak attack. I am going to need to re-up my drugs. There we go. Decided to go overdrive this time. Keep picking up some grenades, that's nice. Go overdrive. And the medics back on. I don't care about that machine gun turret. It's throwing me off. Expert Not locked tight. door. How many more are there going to be is the real question. He is a tough, tough monkey. But not tough enough. Mutant Hound coming to his boss's rescue, but too little too late. Brackets are still good, good deal. We are running low on 50 cal. We don't have that much more left. And another fragmentation grenade. You gotta love it. Just gotta love it. We are all clear for... Oh. Alright, he doesn't have the key card. We are all clear, though. Is it in here? No. I'm sure I just missed it. Somewhere. But that's alright. And, look at that. Okay. So, got the little letter that was saying bombs were coming. Resignation letter. We'll take that. But there we go. Wilson Automatoys HQ Key. So now we should be able to get into any other place we want. Which makes sense being in with the final boss man that you get the, the main key at that point. Now, honestly, this place is huge. I'm sure there is some decent, decent loot if anything happens to catch my eye. Or if I run into more super mutants, we will jump back to it. But as of now, I get to just wander around a building aimlessly, collecting junk. Now, back outside, medics has worn off. Now, if there was something of unique value there, I definitely missed it on the interior. I did find a stealth boy and just miscellaneous 
solid loot. So I'm not going to complain about that. However, nothing really caught my eye. And now it is time to go help out Preston just a little bit more, I do believe. And we need to retake the castle. I want to keep pushing on the Minutemen quest. And quite frankly, I could go along the main storyline and return to Virgil so I could build end up building a teleporter to go into the Institute. But let's be real. I don't want to go back into the Glowing Sea just yet. It really, really frightens me if we're being honest. So I hate, I hated having to run through there. That was just flat out terrifying. Not looking forward to that again. And yes, Raider Scavers running in around. Where are you running to? I just want to shoot you. No big deal. Did I see movement? No. Need a drink. Real shit. Okay, that scaver I'm going to want to hit best I can. 80%, that's pretty good. That will catch the attention of the dog, or at least it should. 80% shot to the dog. Dog is down. I think there's one in the school bus. Oh, come on. I should be able to shoot through that. I would Come think. On out. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me. Yes, there is one. Scum. Dead. Waster, 90% shot. Ooh, almost got him. The second one does. Why did you give a waster a machete? They should have the toughest gun. Wasters are not to be trifled with. So here we have DB Tech High School. Schools are always fun to adventure in and just look inside. But I'm not going to be worrying about doing that at the moment. Just keep pressing onward best I can. Let's take a quick look at the map. So it is more or less a straight shot meeting the Minutemen near the castle. We do have to get around this little body of water. I mean, I could just swim in, go into the water and swim around. I already cleared General Atomics Factory and could just meet up right there. But where's the fun in that? Why not do a little bit of adventuring? See what comes on. Maybe you find Ruby the dog way on over there. And you can kill Ruby for 180. Experience. Was a good shot there. But. As you can see. I am down to two clips left of my 50 kale. I really, really need to buy more ammunition for this once again. It is my preferred gun. So I am going to be using it. Whoa. Whoa. A little bit more. Where's that coming from? Dando down below. I think I can pick Dando off. Just gotta get above. We got Shug the dog. Shug the dog is down. Where is Dando? Mr. Dandelion. Here shooting in the background. As long as it's not hitting my back. I think we'll be alright. Yeah, look at all that. Smoke that way. We don't need to get in. I know I said 
you know, let's take the scenic route and do some adventuring, but I don't need to be doing that much adventuring when I can just walk around more or less. That comes through. That is the dog, like the raider dog breeder. Oh, we got Child of Adam up ahead. They pack a wallop. You are another one. Too far away. All right, then. Wasted a shot. Out of range. That is kind of the route I want to go back past. Because you got the Union Station over here, which is full of raiders, which just had gunshot going shooting past. Detected. Who is detecting me? That is all. Being detected is honestly more nerve wracking. And I should not be using my 50 cal for just playing feral mongrels. Oh, and we have a legendary coming running at me. I think that's enough shots that should take him out. Good angle. Able to kill it before dog meat came. Please be something good. Sharp pack left bracer. All right, so we have a Nuka World DLC legendary item coming in. Pack bracer is very strong. Charisma and intelligence, not a very good one, all things considered, but it is not Creepers, creepers. Not the worst thing in the world. They're not even shooting at me. But we do have this plasma. Who are they actually firing at? Gunners. Okay, so we can backdoor the gunners. This will draw a bunch of attention to me. Probably too much attention to me. And look at that. We have another feral mongrel running in at me now. This is just like the dog highway through here. Yes. Shot through the bushes. Okay, got another one. Our sergeant is down. Another gunner sergeant. Are you the same one? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not supposed to be able to cripple me. That was a lucky shot. Lucky shot. Danger. I'm fine. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Yes, that is a mistake. You are right there. Oh, son of a monkey's uncle. What is going on right now? Basically crippled again, but not quite. Ah, that is why I am no longer under the effects of any drugs whatsoever. All right. Fair enough. We need to get that remedied ASAP. Buff tat. Ooh, last buff tats. Let's go psycho buff instead with a med X. Running low on the med X as well. And we might need to do a quantum. Or, ooh. We have jet as well. We're already in slow time, though. Him. Come on, you gotta use your brain. Nerd Rage has activated, which is why you have it. Parched, properly hydrated. Let's get, we are close range right now. We need to just go on over to our tactical 308. One shot. Oh, good. Got him. Got him dead. That gunner sergeant. Woo wee! No, thank you. I am in slow mode. 
Gotta love it. There, yeah, you just look, look down the line there. Just the children of Adam, you know, going on. No, nothing to see here. Actually walking my way. Let's try to line up the headshot. Ooh, another one coming. Ways away. We really should heal up a little bit more before engaging. What do we have that would be a good overall healing? And I think we have some Nuka-Cola cherries that 100 HP. They'll get me up a little ways at least. And if we do Mutant Hound Chops, get our rads down a little bit. That's not a bad idea as well. And just for fun, we'll eat a nice, you know, crunchy carrot. We'll be healed up faster than you can say. Bunch of munchy crunch carrots. Plus our natural healing just from the daylight daytime. Back to hidden. Got some nuclear material from that gunner sergeant. Those gunners were packing a wallop. How much did they actually lay waste to the raiders inside? Possibly pretty good. They were laying an assault down. So we can just walk past here, clear out the raiders, or we can go past the children of Adam. Kind of a catch-22 to what makes more sense other than this is a location we can tick off on the map. And Andrew Station is discovered. We're actually not that far away from the next level up. And the brackets aren't actually getting all that close together. So we might be able to loop back and deal with ooh, plasma pistol. Those are valuable deal with the children of Adam. Oh, don't walk away. Don't walk away. <sighs> Walked into something. I need to get around the corner. <laughs> shoot them in the back. When in doubt, just shoot people in the back. In caution, but I am fully healed back up now. We are sitting really, really good. Ooh, and they have a Nuka grenade. You gotta love it. Most powerful grenade in the game. If that were to hit me, I would absolutely die. Oh, terrible shot. Terrible shot. Oh, that's just disappointing. Through that window? You're going to make your rounds back out here, right? Someone... Yes. Yes, they did. This is where a robo brain spawns in at. For if we happened to accidentally trigger automatron and we needed to deal with automatron right away what a non-true child of adam the adam's glow be all around you and be divided kind of want to go past the police station because why not Soft shell Mirelurk, no big deal. Tired, lack of sleep. That doesn't bother me any. That soft shell Mirelurk will die really quickly. Nothing to worry about there either. And if we can get close enough, there we go. 
South Boston Police Department. This is another reason why you don't just, I guess, swim to where you need to go. You can't tick off near as many areas on the map. Look at that shot right in the shell and still killed him. Get a little Mirelark meat. Oh, biscuits and gravy. Okay, it is Brotherhood. They are getting shot on. Where can I run and hide away from them? Oh, crud. I lost where they're at. Do I just keep going? Oh, I think... Did I hear... Did I hear it, like, half explode? I want to just keep ticking off stuff on the map. Where are you on the night sky? Okay, I see it. Is it just spinning around because it's laying waste? Or is it spinning around a little bit because it's going to crash into me? Might want to crash into me. Even if it doesn't get hit, it's going to want to crash into me because uh, there's what do we got there? Super mutants, right? Bad idea, Tim. Don't do this. Don't be in this shot. I want the XP to level up, though. Could duck into the brewery if need be. Okay, just detected. We're by the water. We can jump into the water. Or just go into the water right now. Because I have I'm on a mission. I need to get and storm the castle. We need to get the castle under control and get rid of all of those ugly, ugly Mirelurks that are roaming around. That is what we need to do. That is my top priority. Not ticking off areas on the map. Although that bird bird in the background is an issue. Look at... Wow! Look at all those raiders over there. They were having a regular raider powwow. One of them was a legendary, which makes me want to know what it is. So many raiders. I could swim across, climb up on there, and have some cover and go in and just start attacking. But I would really prefer it if that vertebrae crashes. Then I would feel a lot safer to just go over there. Because it is, it is taking a ton of fire. Or it is just dealing a ton of fire, I guess. That barrel is red hot from laying waste. Ooh, look at them lay waste. You gotta love it, I guess. Now they're doing their front guns. Okay, the vertebrate bird is really close to being low on health. Real, really close to just crashing and dying. You can start running down there. Yeah, look at all those raiders. Oh, they're moving too much. No, don't fly back towards me. No, bad. Ooh, some explosions. I'm actually really enjoying watching. 
Brotherhood is getting there. Freebird is super close to death. Loop around. Loop around. Not by me. Ooh, I'm in caution now. Oh, come on. Ah, dead vertebrate. And I tell you what. They are laying so much waste. Looks a little unorthodox. Oh, out goes their gunner. Oh, out goes their pilot? That vertebrate is basically dead. Ah, oh, Miniman over there. Yes, yes. Okay, that's going to crash. Run. Thank you, building. That is why I ducked into there. Cool, cool, cool. Scabber way across the way. That legendary is hurting. Has regen once. And dead. And look at that. Super close to the next level up. We need to make our way on over there. I need to see what that legendary has. Don't want it to mind. Of course, I'm weak, so I'm going to take more damage because why not? Of course, that's how that's going to go. Now, what am I going to be dealing with? Hidden. Cool, cool, cool. Antibiotics have been taken. Properly hydrated. Don't have a ton of shots left, but we are super close to leveling up once again to level 39 now this time. Now, the real question, are there any raiders left to kill to get the level up? Or were those the last two that I just took out? There were tons over here, but it looks like the vertebrate did such great, great work. And the Pridwin, look at that, like not even fully rendered in. It makes perfect sense that they'd want to come in and deal with the parties over here of the Raiders. 308, that is good. Need that. And a lucky rolling pin. All right, we are getting some weapons now. So that is at least good in that regard to be able to get a few weapons for a change we've been having a very very heavy armor drop and wow look at those bodies here look at that body count well done brotherhood you don't typically see that much okay so one of them is a settler but raider psycho another psycho Another psycho. What do we got over here? Just a basic raider, but they are carrying decent stuff. Overtired from lack of sleep. Of course I am. Oh, and another one back over here. Did I see something up here? No, no, I did not. Just a massive, massive amount of raiders. You gotta love it. Ooh, and medics. I am running low on that. Why would anybody in their right mind ever throw away a medics? But before I guess we go storm the castle, which is right on across the way, it is going to be swarming with Mirelurks. Luckily, I have a fair amount of mines that I can deal with, and I have some good old-fashioned combat rifle shots to t deal with all the Mirelurks and the little Mirelurk hatchlings as well. But that is going to have to wait till next time as just our random adventuring was fun. Dealing with the super mutants, seeing the vertebrate actually do good work on raiders and basically had taken the majority of them out before they actually crashed and burned. Very very well done on their part. I am thoroughly impressed. But as always, thanks for watching and thanks for joining. 
And until next time, when we go to storm the castle. This is Tim. And Dogmeat. And Ryan. Saying thank you and goodbye. Powering off. <laughs>